Ready for the quick pitch? Let's do it. One AL player, one NL player to watch out for. Al, who you got in the American League? In the League. American League, I've got Jason Bartlett, who uh, I had said all during the offseason, really loved his 2009 season, looked legitimate, but could he continue hitting for crazy gap power, or was that just a one-year fluke? Well, he's actually outdoing himself. Um, so, so far, he's got a line drive rate of 33%. So, one out of everything, every three balls he's hit, he hits, he's scorching it. Wow. Um, so, actually, that 280 batting average he has right now is lower than it probably should be. So, I think he's uh, due for another 300-plus season. Emac, AL. Well, I have the guy that I've been saying, patience, patience, patience. Brandon Wood is popping off. There you go. And the unfortunate thing, we I, I, I tell Brandon Wood, you know, go on a streak because you can be viable in all leagues when you do. Oh, you but, told him that. Yeah, I did. But oh. you got to do it. You got to do it on Saturday and Sunday, not Monday, Tuesday, because yeah. Monday, Tuesday is too late. Three for four the past two, each of the past two games, hit his first homer of the season. Brandon Wood is popping off, and he's as streaky as they get in the, the terms of young hitters. And he can be as good as anyone when he's popping off. Um, the unfortunate thing is, by the end of this week, he could be back in a right. slump again. So uh, we got to get to Brandon Wood and say, look, pop off Saturday, Sunday, and we'll start you on Monday. Oh, Don't. maybe Facebook him or something. Yeah, well, or tw- maybe I got Twitter. him on the horn. I got him on the horn. Oh, okay. That works, too. I forget, you know, 21st century. <laughs> Al, who you, uh, who you looking out for in the NL? National League, how about Chase Headley? Uh, yeah. Hitting for a very Headley. high average. And uh, I, I don't know, as long as this, this guy's a padre, I don't know that we're ever going to really see the power from him that everybody was anticipating. But um, he's he's kind of reinventing himself as, he's de- as he develops here. And he, like Bartlett, is, is developing that line drive power. Um, also, each year, improving his strikeout rate. So this is a guy who, um, you know, may not hit 25, 30 home runs, maybe not ever. But, you know, maybe he's the guy who can contends for a batting title. Emac, yeah. stop, I, I like, stop cheating. No, yeah, he's got his bay bips and all that, and I love it. Um, You're looking off his paper. <laughs> uh, I got Ike Davis, and I was not a big uh, mixed league, like what I said with Justin Smoke. Ike Davis is probably not going to be good enough to score enough points in a deep first base position in a mixed league, but I'm changing my tune because this guy can cover the whole plate. He's, he's got that kind of like John Olerud, uh, I already said Adam LaRoche, but he's a tall guy with long arms. So even if he's making a mistake aggressive inside, his hands are long enough to get the bat head on the, the outside pitch, and he's even able to hit it to right center. He had a double to uh, left center, I mean, uh, mm-hmm. double to left center last night. I, I am liking Ike Davis, um, obviously because he's hot. You can use him in mixed leagues. But this guy might be able to stick, and Daniel Murphy is swinging the bat now and uh, going to try to run the bases today. Um, he hasn't been able to cut bases yet. Daniel Murphy, I think, is going to go back to AAA. So Ike Davis is the man in New York right now, and I think you can start him in mixed leagues. Oh, well, there go all the, all the bloopers we see on TV if Daniel Murphy's still in AAA. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>